Hi, my name is Benjamin Horner, and I'm from Michigan Grow and Triple M Report Magazine, bringing you one in a series of grow tips for growing medical marijuana. Today, we're going to be focusing on deep water cultivation systems. There's many advantages to the deep water culture system. These systems can be built very inexpensively with supplies from your local hardware store and indoor gardening store. Each system is self-contained and customizable for different plant applications. It's so easy, anybody can do it, even a beginner. All right, we have the twist tie, we have the net pots, we have the air tubing, this is a quarter inch, we have the half inch black vinyl tubing, which is going to be used for a water system, we have the water pump, we have the air pump, we have the ring clamp that's going to secure the plug. We have the hydrogen rocks, which is going to be our grow medium. We have our nutrients. We have our quarter inch watering lines. And we have our quarter inch barb teas. And finally, we have our aeration stone that we're going to use to aerate the water system. All right, folks, these are all the tools that you're going to need for the deep water culture system. Here we have the pH tester used for testing the water. Here's the drill measuring tape, compass for measuring the holes, shears for cutting the plastic tubing, utility knife for cutting the holes, gauge, and drill bits for drilling your pilot holes. These are all the tools that you're going to need to make your deep water culture totes. Okay, this is a storage tote, 30 gallon. You can get these at any of your local hardware stores. You want one that is, you know, uh, not transparent. It's got to not be able to have light come through it. So you want a solid one that is not transparent at all and one that's going to be easy to cut through, not one with a hard plastic top. First step is to determine which size pot and how many pots you're going to use per tote. These pots were going to be put into the top of this tote. So if we're going to use an eight and a half inch one, we would probably only be able to fit two into the top of these totes. And if we use the smaller one, we could use as many as 12 in each one of these totes. For today's application, we're going to be using the six inch net pot We'll use six per tote. Using the tape measure and compass, map out your cuts on the top of the tote. Use the utility knife to cut the holes out for your pots. The next step is to assemble the irrigation system. Attach half inch hose to the pump. Next, we're going to slide on this ring. Then we're going to insert the plug to create a seal and secure plug with ring. Next, we're going to drill our pilot holes for the teeth. I did three because we're going to be installing three T's for six lines for our six pots. Okay, this next job requires a little bit of brute strength. You really got to push these babies in there. The reason why you use a small drill bit is so that you have a really tight fitting. Once they pop through the second barb, you're there. You might need to get someone with strong hands to help you out. Next, install all of the quarter inch feed lines onto the tees. When you're finished for a six pot system, this is what your assembly should look like. Insert the pump into the tote. Now you drill your holes for the irrigation line access. We're going to do two in this tote so that half of the hoses can feed that side and half can do this side. Now we pull our irrigation hoses up through the holes that we just cut. I have three for each side for a total of six for all six pots. Okay, we've got five gallons of reverse osmosis water. Five gallons is approximately enough to fill up this tote to the level that we want it to be, which is about right here. All right. Reverse osmosis water is much better than any other water. Well, you don't want to use tap water because that's going to have a lot of sediment in it that you don't want. Filtered water is definitely going to be the best. You know, turn your pump on and check all the hoses, make sure that they're all running correctly. 
Okay, now you're going to have to install a timer. We like these analog timers. They have a 15 minute interval. We like to set them where it's 15 minutes on and then 15 minutes off. 15 minutes on and then 15 minutes off. You plug it into the pump so it's continuously cycling the water all the way through the process. So next we're going to end our nutrients. Now there's a wide variety of different nutrients out on the market. You should go up to Michigan Grow and we will help you pick your best nutrient selections. They all have different mix ratios. All right, so you can check that out. Next, test the water with a pH tester. Some people like the strips. We suggest getting a nice digital one. This one does multiple readouts for you. The proper pH level in the water is between five and six points. Now we're gonna load the plants into the net pots. Then we're gonna fill the net pots with this hydrogen rocks. This is a medium that we really like to use because it's neutral and it gives good water displacement. Now we're gonna load the plants into the totes. It's important to secure the water lines to make sure that the water is going directly into the plants. Okay, now secure the water lines in with the label stake and use a twist tie to secure it. So it wasn't that easy. Now anybody can make these like I told you in the beginning. You can get all the supplies at your local hardware store uh, and at your local grow store like uh, Michigan Grow in Flint. Um, also uh, you can check out these tips online at www.mmmrmag.com. Uh, that's the Triple M Report magazine. Um, thank you. And this is Ben Horner signing off. Check back with us soon. We'll have more videos. If you have any interest in something new that you'd like to see or have any questions, send us an email. We'd love to get back to you. Thanks. Bye.